so in this video what we will be doing is we will be looking up how we can create a chatbot just like this and integrate with website right now we'll be initializing our asa chatbot and adding it into the website integration folder so to do that make sure you have activated your on environment so right now i will be doing that and mine is rasa22 which will be which has the version of 2.1.2 sometimes it might take time and make sure you use this version or 2.2. something so in the version of 2.3.2 or above there is issue with socket IR. so in there you won't be able to connect with the website with socket IR connection so let's move on and create create a rasa chatbot by doing rasa init command this will ask where you have to you want to store so i'll use the current directory and again and then it will ask do you want to train the bot or not so i'll say yes and then it will ask me to talk with the bot so i'll say no for that and just i said that it will ask me to talk with it i'll say no and just like this we have created a bot and now it's time to open it all right so right now what i'll do is open up credentials.yml file and remove this particular section and uncomment this so now by doing by uncommenting this and adding user uttered so that in the user message event we'll be defining it as user uttered and inside the bot we'll say bot so you'll be seeing the cursor bot uttered just like this i'll keep the session persistence as true and now i'll save this and create a new file here as named as index.html and then add html tag and then body inside this particular section we'll be adding the script provided by web chat so i'll go to the chrome and then scroll down i'll set this link in the description if you want to look at it and copy the script paste it right here and i'll be explaining this so right now what's happening so we'll we are getting this library of index.js from the web chat and then inside that as it gets load so now inside the web chat there will be a widget so on that widget clicked it will fetch the url so currently it's of the bot front and we'll be changing this to us which will be local host 5005 and removing the http as to http just like this we have created our own version of a script and if you want to in, uh, if you want to initialize like if you want to send as the user clicks on the widget first time so there is section less as in init payload so remember the it's camel case so now inside this init payload will be adding as utter grid ups uh, slash grid which is the intent okay so just like this save this and now we'll be running uh, on the new terminal as first of all uh, make sure you turn on your environment just like this and now i'll be doing rasa run make sure you remember this command it is necessary for this dash m model enable api dash dash course will be using course policy here and enter So 
So now it's currently starting the server on localhost 5005. You can also specify port by doing dash p and trace providing a port. So now it's up and running. So uh, I have to open this onto my Chrome. I'll do d colon slash website integration and then index dot html just like this so now here you can see i got a widget just right here click on it and it will say hey how since we have added the initial payload for this particular purpose so i don't have to say hi i'll just say happy yes yeah, same thing to theory up and it will provide me an image which is of a cub just like this so you are not able to see it but it's like that and if you want to change this welcome message and add something else i'm showing you right now how to do that right here okay uh, add it as title title will be rasa bot and subtitle will be as and also make sure you add comma subtitle will be see so and get started save it refresh this and here we have own title and subtitle so i'll say yes it did help me so it will say just great carrier nothing happened like that okay so right now let's say i want to change the color of this particular header so how should i do that to do that it's you have to add it into the style tag right here and it should be inside body so just replace it reposition it actually yeah so reposition it and now for this rw just a minute yeah so right here inside this particular container copy this and paste it right over here and then add this into header space header and then select the background color which you want to add so right now i'll be adding hash f a 7070 so this is um, a red color so it will look nice now refresh this and you'll be able to see this color yeah so now to change other colors so uh, you can copy this message container then add it right here and before that this is the main parent class so make sure you add that and then add this message and then inside message select a response and then paste this particular code right into this and save and refresh it so here you can see i change the response of a bot and instead of response let's say i select client so it will change the color of a client message so this is how you can create a bot and change things so as you can see uh, we have added our changes right here and if you want to change the color of this particular launcher name is rw dash launcher and then add the background color right away whichever you want to just like this and then here we have here we have created a simple chatbot integration with website with the help of rasa web chat so if you have any kind of questions feel free to ask in the comments and make sure you like share and subscribe to this channel and i would love to get any kind of suggestion 
you have in mind that you want to see here yeah, i can i'm a rasa hero too so if you have any kind of doubts you can ping me and all the links are in description